Hi, welcome to this Excel tutorial. David is my name. In this video, I'm going to show you how to dynamically highlight first and second largest value in a chart. Therefore, let's get started. This is exactly what we want to accomplish. We have this column chart. I can actually see that the highest value or the largest value is color coded using the yellow fill color, followed by the second highest value color coded in red fill color. And of course, we have this our calculation here. We have the calculation for the Fox Max, the second max value, and also in cell M1, we have this drop down. So when we choose another brand, for instance, let's choose limousine, the calculation automatically changes because it is formula based and also it reflects on our chart. Now let's create this from the scratch. So I'm going to come to the task sheet. We have the same data set which is officially stored as an Excel table and we have our unique payments. Now in column H, I'm going to run a quick sum ifs calculation. So let's start equal sign sum ifs. Now the sum rate is the many side for the six amount in column A comma for the criteria range one the main side of payment in column c comma and for the criteria one i'm going to give the entire spill value in cell g2 to g8 and we have the spill or the pound sign here or the hash sign so for the criteria range two i want to give the main side for the brand in column d comma and for the criteria two i'm going to give the unique selected brand in cell m1 close the sum is control enter cool we have the sales amount calculation now we want to calculate the first max value now in this case i'm going to use the if logical function so comma if now for the logical test i want to check if h2 equals to the max of the entire numbers here now in this case i'm going to apply the absolute cell reference so f for key once then we can close off the max formula comma now if this logical test is true what i want i want the highest value to be returned so i'm going to click on h2 comma otherwise if it's not true i want nothing now not in excel means so you're going to use double quotation so i'm going to use double quotation then we can close off the if and then control enter and then we can copy down the formula so this is the largest 12 million four six five thousand plus now let's calculate the second max value equal sign if now the same h2 equals to now in this case i'm going to use the large function so i'm going to train the large function now for the large it requires the array as the first arguments so i'm going to give the entire numbers here and of course i mustn't forget to apply f4 to make it absolute then we can put in a comma now for the k i want the second highest or largest value so just type in two then close off the large comma then we are back to the if so if this logical test is true i want this two comma and if false i want nothing double quote close the if formula control enter and we can copy down the formula so this is the second largest 10 million two three five thousand two three four thousand plus now we are getting there so let's create our column chart so i'm going to select these two the payment and the sales amount columns so come to the insert tab under the chart group click on column and then we want to choose 2d clustered column now we have our column chart ready so now let's you know factor in this fox first and the second max value so i'm going to right click on the chart and choose select data now for the legion entry series click on add now for the series name i'm going to choose the value in cell i1 and for the series value delete this and i want to choose country shift down arrow key and then we can cl click on ok so we have it ready now one more for the second max value the series name is going to be the value in cell j1 and then for the series value, I'm going to choose Ctrl Shift down arrow key and click OK. And then we can finally click OK for now. All right, so we have you know this additional bars here. Now what I'm going to do is just right click on any one of them and choose Format Data Series, or you can even press F1, Control One rather to open the Format Data Series. 
Now, in this case, what I need is simple. Let me just move the charts again here so they can actually see what's going on here. Okay. Okay, we see here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the options here and increase the series overlap. Now, the moment I do that, so you can actually see that it is not overlapping what the other chart we have here. So that is fine for now. So what I'm going to do next is let's just apply. Let's change this color. Feel good. Let's choose, you know, yellow. Okay, I think yellow is fine. And for the second, let's choose red, you know, fill color. Okay, now let's right click and choose um, add data labels. Oops, control Z. Okay, control Y. Okay, let's select the entire right click and choose add data labels. So that's fine. Now, one more thing, I'm going to select this and come to soft edges now i'm going to choose the soft edge variation and let's make this to be two just type in two okay and right click and do the same thing let's choose the same variation i'm going to make it to be two click okay all right so let's close off the format shape and let's you know apply you know, our chat title to make it meaningful so i'm going to call it total sales by payment and round okay that's fine all right let's test things out now let's come to the drop down in cell m1 which actually changes our calculation and also our charts so let's choose Volkswagen for instance absolutely cool you can actually see that the highest value is now color coded in yellow with soft edges and of course the second is color coded in red fill color now if you choose another let's say you want to choose light so you can actually see that the data set our calculation also changes as well as our chart so this is essentially how we highlight first and second largest value in the chart i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like comment share and consider subscribing thank you and bye for now cheers